Midwest and Central Texas, this is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are seeing a few clouds out there on this Friday night. Still looking pretty good. Partly cloudy conditions across the area, and that'll be the story for the rest of your evening. Right now, we'll take you into the Brazos Valley College Station out in the backdrop there. Looking beautiful this evening. Our live Centex Roof System Sky Tracker. It's on top of the Galleria Village Office Building in Bryan, and where the current temperature is 71 degrees. Wind has been out of the south and southeast right around 7 miles per hour. Other temperatures at this hour still in the 70s off to our west. Burnett's at 72, Lano as well as Brownwood all reporting partly cloudy and 72 degrees. Upper 60s up and down I-35 and temperatures about the same as you're working your way down toward uh, the Caldwell area. They're at 68 degrees and 71 right now in Brenham. Wind not too bad, but it looks like as we go throughout the weekend, the wind will start to really pick up here. It's going to be a windy Saturday, Sunday, even Monday right now. It looks pretty windy right now across the area, but the wind flow has been out of the south, so it's pumping up some warm air, also pumping up some moisture, and, and that'll be the story. Not only today, but again, right on through the weekend. Six mile per hour wind in Gatesville, a little bit stronger in Brownwood, right around 13 miles per hour. Continue to see some clouds streaming in. These are some mid-level clouds off from the uh, southwest to the northeast, moving right through our area. Later on tonight, though, we're going to notice that low-level jet kick in. That'll bring us some more clouds from the south that starts to move into our area as well. So let me show you what it looks like here. This is at midnight tonight, partly cloudy skies across the area. Clouds, though, will start to thicken. So by tomorrow morning, I think partly to maybe mostly cloudy skies across the region. And that should keep temperatures up just a little bit, mid to upper 50s. Throughout the morning, though, notice how the clouds thin out. I think more sunshine to the west than to the east right now by 35, but we'll all start to see that sunshine here across the area in the afternoon, and that will allow those temperatures to climb into the lower 80s across most areas. Late Saturday into Sunday, we'll kind of do it all over again. Clouds move in from the west, also from the south, so mostly cloudy skies to start the day on Sunday, and as we go throughout the day, High temperatures are climbing into the 80s. There will be some 90s out west. Remember, it's going to be a little drier out there and stronger wind. That should allow those temperatures to climb. Notice very late Sunday into Monday. We'll keep it mostly cloudy here across the area. As we go throughout the day on Monday, there is a disturbance off to our northwest. So by the afternoon hours, showers and thunderstorms may fire up. But I think it's going to be up around the Wichita Falls area and then up toward the Red River and basically into Oklahoma. We will be looking at some rather warm conditions to say the least, but dry for the most part. And there could be a spotty shower here or there. You can kind of see it moving through there overnight Monday into early Tuesday. But Tuesday, I've got dry with some clouds in the morning and that should clear out by the afternoon. Tonight, though, partly cloudy skies, 56 degrees, your low temperature. And then here's your weekend forecast. Clouds tomorrow morning will thin it out. Remember, mostly sunny by the afternoon, 82 degrees the high. A lot more clouds, though, on Sunday, and they're going to stick around for most of the day. But it's going to be also very windy. South winds at 15 to 30 miles an hour on Sunday. High temperatures right around 83 degrees. Here's the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Daniel Stark. Showers and storms possible late Monday. That's going to be the overnight into Tuesday, but it's not going to affect Tuesday at all because we're going to keep Tuesday dry. The rest of your Daniel Stark long range 10 day forecast indicates very, very warm conditions. Look at that close to 90 for the high on Wednesday. Stronger front on Thursday. Chance of showers and storms. Some of these may be strong, so of course we will watch that. And then temperatures behind it will go below average. Upper 60s to lower 70s for high temperatures. And then Bryan and College Station, lower 80s with a mix of sudden clouds over the weekend. A lot more clouds on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but those highs climb very close to 90 degrees on Wednesday. The front moves through on Thursday, and then cooler weather, but dry weather there for next weekend here as those temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s.